you spend so much time with those guys and you're working towards a common goal and then that all of a sudden is gone, you know, and, and you know it's going to come back, but, you know, those waves are real. High school coaches are faced with a fast-paced and sometimes highly stressful schedule during their respective seasons, and their mental health can be impacted. But for some, their mental health takes the biggest hit during the off-season. Once the season ends, a routine is broken, and for some coaches, that can be a difficult adjustment. The abruptness of your season ending is, you know, is always something because you're, you know, expecting, all right, Sunday I've got to get ready for this next game. There's just, you know, you don't have nothing to do. However, it isn't being away from the game so much that affects their mental health, but instead it is being away from their student athletes. Coaches provide guidance for their athletes and help some stay out of trouble and find success in the classroom. But when they are no longer around on a daily basis, Quincy High School football coach Rick Little says that is something that concerns many coaches. The fear or just the sometimes the worry that it's getting away from you, it can be, as a coach, can be a very daunting um, challenge mentally. Bowling Green football coach Joe Chen says one thing that can help alleviate those concerns is continuing to show support to those athletes even after the season. I think that's a part that helps coaches, you know, is, is stay involved with your kids and, um, you know, obviously you're, you'll start in the weight room and stuff, but, you know, if they're playing another sport, I think it's important to get out there and support them and, and watch them and cheer them on and um, stuff like that. During the off season, some coaches experience stretches of highs and lows, and when they are in that low place, it can be tough to bounce back. But Rick Little says something that always provides some reassurance is hearing from the community. You talk about the mental health part of it, you know, when you're in those low valleys and it's a February day and you hear somebody, it, it does it does help. You know, it does help kind of sp spark that, not so much interest, but that, that level of like, yeah, what I do matters and, and what I do, um, you know, matters to, to the community with these young people. Every coach has their own way of keeping sane during the offseason. Something both Rick Little and Joe Chen say is important in doing so is prioritizing the things that matter most in their lives. When you know the off season comes, for me, what I find is I've, I, I'm, I'm always have a lot of energy, so I have to find a way to be productive. And so a lot of times, it's an, it's investing in my family, in my kids, you know, with their activities and supporting them. Your sport and, and your job's obviously really important, but those things are, are going to end at some point. You know, you're you're going to be with your wife and your kids forever. So uh, make sure you don't uh, miss out on that on those important things. Reporting for KHQA News, Zach Richardson.